All right, so today we are working on a carburetor. This is a carburetor from a Kawasaki KX85. This is from a Bayou 220. When you're cleaning these carburetors, you wanna make sure you prioritize the parts. So if I'm, say I'm working on both of these at the same time, I wanna have these parts maybe go in this bucket and then these parts go in this bucket. You don't wanna get anything mixed up. Make sure everything is where you know it should be. Or say I dropped uh, like the idle screw or whatever on the ground you can't find it just put it in a bucket so first things first you're going to want to tear down this bottom end of the carburetor here pull off this bottom you can see we have a little bit of buildup down there in the bottom and now you just disassemble everything you see so for instance, on this one, here is the fuel screw for the Bayou. This should be, generally there's a spring right here. Prioritize your parts. I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna take out the pilot jet here. It's the, um, so mainly on, on these carburetors, you have a um, pilot jet which is a smaller sized jet where it pulls gas through and to take it to the engine, the combustion chamber. And at low RPMs, the engine obviously needs less air, so, or less fuel, so it goes through the pilot jet, which just seems clogged. And then at higher RPMs, you have the main jet be used. And if, these, if none of these are cleaned properly, then your engine may not run right, it might bog down, might die out. So now taking out this uh, float here, you're gonna wanna press through on the uh, little pin here, just right, right through there. You'll take the float and don't lose your needle. Put your prioritize your parts. And one way you can check to see if your float is still good is if your rubber tip right here is sharp, if it's like still sharp, and also if this piece, this metal piece right here, if you touch it and it bounces back to you, that means your float, your uh, needle is still good. So going over to the top of the carburetor, I'm gonna take out my air screw and prioritize the parts. This one also generally has a spring here. So let me get that. Okay. Now for cleaning purposes, I'll take this gasket off just so you can kind of keep it in good condition as you're cleaning out the top if the top needs cleaned. Okay, now that you have your carburetors taken apart, what you what I do is I take all of my pieces that are dirty the bottom end pieces and I give them a little Dawn dish soap warm water bath so I let them sit in here and from this water being warm until about whenever it's cold and then bottom end in here don't put your top end in there now that your bottom end pieces are soaking uh, what you're gonna want to do is take your top pieces and get some alcohol um, and what you're going to want to do is just scrub along in here, clean it up best you can. If you want to clean the outside, clean the outside. The reason you use alcohol is because it dries up very quickly and it doesn't leave like, uh, watermarks or anything like that. All right, now that these pieces have had some time in the bath, what I usually like to do is get my toothbrush and some alcohol here, go right here and just clean out the bottom end, get any crud or really clean off that, all the dish spray. You don't want that getting sucked into the engine. And then from there, I'll just make sure everything's dry. 
and then I'll take it and I'll spray it with some carbon choke cleaner or um, spray with an air compressor or both. Clean out the bottom ends the best that you can. Like that you can see, got some out right there. Maybe I'll go again. I feel like that's probably around the best I can get on that one. Now that you've cleaned your bottom ends, what you're gonna wanna do, set out a new piece here and you're gonna wanna try and the best you can to try and just clean out all this um, dish soap on here and look at all that crud that just came off of this. And look at that, look at all this crud that came out of these, out of that carburetor. All right, so now that you have gotten every piece dried up a little bit, what you're gonna wanna do is blow air through your pilot jets. Just one last little spray, just to make sure, just to see if it is okay. Maybe get some extra crud off, maybe if there's some like dried up paper from the um, paper towels earlier or if there's some more dish spray or whatever, just try and spray it off, clean up the best you can and then put it together. Now when you're assembling these pieces, you don't want to over tighten your uh, jets because if you do, then it can, it can like crack right here and that is not going to be good. You're going to have to buy a whole new carburetor, top end at least. So what you're going to want to do is you just put it in, put it a little bit past tight right there. Same thing. the main jet very careful see it's not gonna fall out and then what I do with the idle the air I just kind of put it in to where it's not gonna fall out and then I'll adjust the air and the idle as I'm first starting the engine You don't want to go too tight because you might strip it a little bit but right there just firm make sure you have your gasket on that bottom end to seal it up so you don't get any leaks or anything Now that you've got your carburetors all put together, what you're gonna do, obviously put it on the engine and tune it from there. You'll have your air screw and your fuel screw. You wanna try and adjust it as needed. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, good, great. All right, see you next time.